Hey guys, today I want to share with you how I make gluten-free cheese zombies. And this was a food that was served in cafeterias in the schools that I grew up in, in the Northwest. And this was definitely the day that you wanted to eat at school because it was a favorite with everybody. So today I want to show you how I make that gluten-free. So my pan is on medium heat and we want to add the milk and the butter to it just to heat it up and just to make the butter melt. So the bread mix contains the yeast that we need for this recipe. So I'm going to add it to the warm water and mix it up and let it sit for about 10 minutes until it's bubbly and dissolved. So while we're waiting for the yeast to be done, I thought I'd explain a little bit of what a cheese zombie actually is. And it's basically a cheese sandwich that has fluffy, doughy bread instead of slices of bread. And the recipe that I'm using for this is actually from Pamela's Products and it's a roll recipe of hers and I made this years ago and it felt like the right texture for a cheese zombie so I thought I would try to turn it into that. So that's what I'm doing here today with her recipe. And Pamela's Products is really one of my favorite baking mixes. It is tried and true and everything comes out really delicious with it so I would definitely recommend Pamela's Products. Now that the milk and butter mixture have cooled and the yeast is ready, we are just going to add all the ingredients into the mixer and let it mix for about three minutes. So bread mix goes in. The two eggs. Our sugar. The milk mixture and the yeast mixture and now we will let that mix for three minutes Okay, it's been three minutes, so now we are going to put this dough into a buttered bowl. And then you just cover it with a warm towel and let it rise for an hour. So it's been an hour and we're ready for the next step. So I have the dough that we had let rise for an hour. I've got all of our cheese slices over here open and ready to go. And I've got some water to use because the dough can be pretty sticky. So if you need it on your hands or on your spatula to spread it, that's what we'll do. Okay, so I'm going to take half of this dough and put it in a buttered 9 by 13 dish. And I just eyeball about half of it. And the dough is still sticky, and that's okay. You just need to work it in there with a little bit of patience. Okay, so I have half of the dough spread in there, and now is where you just go in and start layering the cheese. Now you can use as much as you want, but I just go through and lay it like this. 
and you can use whatever cheese you want as well. So we're using Velveeta, but you can use whatever kind of sliced cheese that you like. So you get one layer put on there, and then what I do for this bottom side is I cut it, the slice in half, and cover that space right there. Then you just continue with the layers for as much cheese as you would like. So I finished layering the cheese and I went about four layers and then now it's time to just put the rest of the dough on top of this. Then we'll spread it and cover it and let it go for another hour and a half to two hours. Okay, so it's been two more hours and I've preheated the oven to 350, so this goes in for 25 minutes. Okay, it's been 25 minutes, so the cheese zombies are done and looking and smelling delicious. All I need to do is brush some melted butter on the top of it, and then we can cut into it. Okay, it's been cooling for 10 minutes, and now it's time to cut into it and show you what it looks like. I can already feel the soft bread. Let's try to get it out of here in one piece. You know how the one piece, the first piece is always the hardest to get into. There we go. Oh, the gooey cheese. So you can see that the bread is very soft and that cheese is melted perfectly. It is the ultimate cheese sandwich. And it is a family favorite. My daughter requests it every year for her birthday meal. I will put this recipe as well as the original cheese zombie recipe in the description box down below. There is some debate as to where cheese zombies originated. It looks like this sandwich style started where I grew up in Washington's Yakima Valley. I will include the links to those articles in the description box as well so you can look into it. Thanks for watching. I hope you try it and I hope you enjoy it.